All right, guys, I got this old master built uh, electric smoker here, and it's not working properly. Um, you plug it up, the controls and everything will turn on, but it's not actually, the heating element's not actually turning on. So this thing's been sitting up in here for collecting dust for quite a while. I'm gonna see if I can get it up and going and clean it up and get back to using it again. I have an idea what's wrong with it. I'm gonna give it a open up and check and see. First thing you wanna do before you get started working on something like this is make sure it's unplugged. Um, you don't wanna get yourself shocked. You're trying to fix something. So uh, I'm gonna put this thing on pause for a second and get my camera set up. Okay, over here on the back of the machine, um, we've got this little plate right here, and this covers up the two wires that come down from the control panel and goes to the heating element. I suspect that the wires are corroded or a terminals broke off or something's going on behind here. So I'm going to pull this cover off and see what happens. Well, just as I suspected, if you look right here, this terminal is corroded and it's, it's actually broken loose. So I'm going to clean this all up and see if I can get this thing back working. All right, so I went ahead and broke off all the remaining bits of the terminal that was stuck to the actual term, terminal for the heating element that sticks out of here. It's not broken off, so that's a good thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire brush and I'm going to try to clean this thing up as much as possible because I suspect that it was a loose connection there, got some corrosion in it, um, whatever, and just built up a lot of heat and kind of melted this thing out. So I'm going to clean this up pull this old connector off and give it a shot. All right, so I got the, the old bit of the wire clipped off, the old terminal that was on the wire, I got it clipped off. I have these terminals, these insulated spade terminals, female spade terminals laying around. I put one on there. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna hold the heat up, hold up to the heat back here or not. But I just wanted to get that hooked up just to make sure to see if this thing's going to work. If it's going to work, then I'll go get the correct, the correct terminal and put it on there uh, for a more permanent fix. But for now, I just want to see what happens. So I'm going to put this plate back on. I'm going to plug it up and turn the power on and see if this thing starts building up heat. All right, so I've got it plugged in. Uh, power on. Going to set the temp. That's good enough there. Set temp and then set the time. <clears throat> Shows that it's heating. I guess now. I'll just, just see if this dirty thing will start building up some heat on the inside. All right, so I've had it running now for seven minutes, and it's gone from about 50 degrees up to 77, and it's steady climbing. So um, I guess it's fixed. It's definitely not no 70 degrees outside, that's for sure. It's kind of chilly. So... That was a pretty simple fix. All it took really was Phillips head screwdriver to take the back plate off, wire brush to clean it, and wire crimpers in a little terminal. And that was a really simple fix to you know, bring this thing back into operation. And it sat for a long time. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, subscribe. Maybe this will help you out. If you know somebody's got a dead smoker laying around, show them this video. It might help them out. Thanks.